Hello and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Thomas and I'm Melissa Curtis. Mary Nelson has the night off. Some state legislators think that parents should have more choice on where their kids go to school. Three News Now reporter Alex Whitney shows us how a recent Supreme Court ruling is bringing new momentum to the school choice movement here in Nebraska. Parents have options on where they send their kids to school. They could go public or private. Parents, parents are the first teachers. They're the most responsible for their children. They care about their children most. Senator Linehan has been one of the biggest supporters of the school choice movement in the unicameral. She wants vouchers or tax credits for parents paying for private schools. But public school advocates argue that those programs take away resources and money from public schools. The idea is that if you get a tax break, that's funds that aren't going into the pool for public schools. So what we worry is that we want our public schools to be fully funded and we worry that these sorts of um, programs will impede our ability to do that. A recent Supreme Court decision regarding a Maine voucher program could shift the school choice debate here in Nebraska. Maine offered its own voucher programs but excluded religiously affiliated schools. The Supreme Court ruled that exclusion violated the First Amendment. We're hopeful that this decision will embolden our legislature here in Nebraska to finally pass laws that provide real choice and education to families and students here in Nebraska. It still remains to be seen if this new momentum will be enough to pass school choice legislation here in Nebraska, but it will certainly help school choice advocates like Linehan and the Nebraska Family Alliance. Nebraska is actually now one of two remaining states in the entire country that doesn't have any real school choice legislation, so it's well past time uh, for our state to take that next step. Linehan said she plans to introduce more school choice legislation when the legislature reconvenes in January. In Nebraska, 90% of students attend public schools. Alex Whitney, 3 News Now.